Can you believe any guy or a person who finishes bachelor's of business administration and after that he or she is able to know that how the money is being printed? What is this, uh, you know, what you call the value, intrinsic value of something in the monetary system? I don't think so. We do not know how the money is being printed. Yes, we only know what money brings. You print more, you have more debts. But what is this mechanism? How does it work? Who controls the gold? Who makes this gold up and down? On what values you are creating performance related pays of people? How do you decide that this man should deserve this money, this salary? On what grounds? Is it ground of nationalities? Islam doesn't promote that. Islam has no racial slurs, no racial discriminate. discrimination. Islam is very clear. Anyone who discriminates on the grounds of language, color, riches, or what else will perish. This is the Hadith of Prophet. So tell me, how can we have a system where you can justify that this guy should take this money, for example, a janitor or a president in the company? Janitor is working far ahead than the president as it appears. But look the salary of the president and look at the salary of the janitor. I'm not talking about the president of the country. I'm talking about the president of the company or organization. This is the fact. Now, this system of hierarchy, the values, who laid it through the educational system of Rockefeller? They created this whole system that you have this praxis and this praxis of pyramid. This must have this. This guy must have this, not beyond that. So you always be a slave of economics, economical slave, money, monetary slave, and you can never come out from this oscillation. It is like a whirlpool or a whirlwind which will suck you down till you reach to your grave. This is the system. There is no other way. You are educated. Your degrees will be only accepted through the standards of Rockefeller. Can you create your own syllabus, your own curriculum, and you boast to the world that this curriculum must be implemented? I said, go and try. Let, let us see. It will not work because the system we have lost. I'm very sad because I belong to educational fields and mashallah. So I'm very sad when I see that Muslims, the way we are derailing ourselves for away and away from the real knowledge and education. Now look at today's era. The one who creates something from materia, from matter, he's a god, inverted commas. They act like gods. They do not think people have any value. Who creates the pioneering engineering? You have many examples in the past, in today's, like iPhone and many other companies they created, like things which were not existing before. And those people are billionaire today. Those companies are trillions of their assets or stock market. How it happens? It only happens because they have real knowledge. And only few selected people use brains. And those brains, if any third developed country or third developing country, any person tries to make it, they will fix you. In today's era, if you try to make any car which runs through water, purely water, without any mystification, they will <laughs> take you up, they will abduct you. Who? I don't know these secret people, they will abduct you because the billions of dollars have been invested on the other system to find the alternative system. They will not let you do it. It's another problem. Talk about any other thing, for example, medical, pharmaceutical industries. Do you really think that the pharmaceutical industry do not have the cure for cancer or they do not understand the etiology of cancers, diagnosis? What do you think? I personally believe in today's era, these pharmaceutical industries, they do have answers of the, all these things, but they earned billions of dollars through chemotherapy. This is it. 
is not simple as we see when the big crocodiles and the claws are too much you know stuck into the system they don't let you go to have another system again like this jewish banking system they cannot let you have any other alternative system as long as the system runs on usury that is the main spine or the bone marrow of all the economical system usury all the economical system has been standing on the grounds of usury and interest if you remove it everything will be collapsed if you remove all the system of interest in the world the jewish economy will collapse the banking system will collapse and they come down to zero so certain people have knowledge they become god and we are having only information that is why we have no value into the world in this world right now we do not have any values i'm talking about especially from the muslims point of view which is very sad i am not saying to go against the education what i'm saying please focus on understanding comprehension then rather going into the other side and just follow the puppet system that you become something with somehow you pass the exams and you follow the same system make your cv go to the jobs and become the puppets of rockefeller system this is what i'm saying we should make our own system and we should make sure that we enforce it and this is what i have been educating people in all fields in islam in islam and christianity islam and judaism islam and science atheism skepticism agnosticism and fitnah the dajjal the commotion of the dajjal materialism science with other isms you want to study study but please study the things properly deeply fundamentally not superficially because superficial knowledge has no value at all and remember that knowledge is power not your degrees and papers our first revelation was for muslim read in the name of your lord so read everything but please do not forget to put the quranic glasses before you read and scrutinize wa akhiru da'wana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alamin